This video is an overview of how to set up your Intex sand filter pump and saltwater system combo. Instructions are the same for all sizes of this product. Setup is simple and easy, but care must be taken to follow all the instructions and recommendations in this video and your owner's manual. Failure to do so could result in injury or product damage. Please follow these recommendations when setting up your filter pump. Choose the location carefully. Once the sand tank is filled with sand, it will be heavy and difficult to move. The filter pump should be as far from the pool as the hoses will allow. Do not place anything near the pump that might impede the flow of air. Good air circulation is important for motor cooling. Do not turn the pump on unless the pool is filled with water to the proper level. You will need an electrical outlet within reach of the power cord, but not closer than six feet from the pool. You must be able to plug the pump into an electrical outlet without using an extension cord. Use only a GFCI or RCD electrical outlet for safety. If the outlet trips the circuit repeatedly, correct the problem before using the pump. You will also need a Phillips head screwdriver, a level stable platform, which is vibration free, on which to place the system, salt, which is at least 99.8% pure, and either a number 20 silica sand or glass media. Do not use synthetic sand. Be sure to keep children away from sand and glass media and take precautions against sand and glass dust in the air, which can irritate eyes and lungs. Use salt that is at least 99.8% pure. The purer the salt, the more efficiently the system will clean the water of your pool. Do not use iodized or yellow salt. Begin by removing the pump and all accessories from the packaging. Inspect for visible damage, including the laterals at the bottom of the sand tank, to see that they are not damaged. Do not assemble the pump if the parts are damaged or missing. For replacement parts, please visit our website at www.intexcorp.com. Place your platform midway between the inlet and outlet fittings of the pool as far from the pool as the hoses will allow, so the pump cannot be used to climb into the pool. The platform must be placed on a firm, level surface. Place the tank support base on the platform as shown. Lower the pump motor assembly onto the tank support base as shown. Then place the tank on the support base. The tank drain cap should be facing away from the center of the platform. The water inlet port should face the pool. Some communities require that the filter and pump be secured to the ground. Check your local requirements. Locate the leaf trap pre-filter housing. Unscrew the leaf trap housing collar with a counterclockwise rotation. Remove the cover and O-ring and take out the filter housing nut and basket. Push the leaf trap housing against the water inlet port on the motor until it stops. Screw the filter housing nut onto the water inlet until it is finger tight. Replace the leaf basket, cover and O-ring. And replace the housing collar. It should be hand tightened only. Tighten the air release valve on top of the leaf trap. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove one of the bolts from the clamp at the top of the tank and remove the clamp. Lift the pipe inside the sand tank until you see the minimum and maximum lines on the pipe. The amount of sand in the tank must be in between these two indicators. Replace the pipe. The pipe hub should be centered at the bottom of the tank. Place a cup or sand shield over the center pipe before pouring sand into the tank. 
sand in the pipe will interfere with the operation of the filter. Refer to the chart in your manual for the quantity of filter media required for your filter pump. Slowly fill the tank with sand using approximately half the recommended amount. Distribute the sand evenly in the tank. Add some water to the tank. This will hold the sand in place when more sand is added. Resume filling the tank until the sand is between the minimum and maximum marks on the pipe and again distribute the sand evenly in the tank. Remove the cup or sand shield and wipe away any sand from the edge of the tank. Please consult your manual during the installation of the six-way valve. Improper installation can be hazardous. Carefully lower the six-way valve onto the tank, making sure that the pipe inside the tank fits securely into the bypass valve on the bottom. There are three hose ports on the six-way valve. When properly positioned, the port with the cap, the drain waste port, faces away from the pool. The water inlet port faces the motor. And the valve's water outlet port will face the pool. To secure the six-way valve to the tank, fit the clamp over the lip of the tank and the valve flange. Replace the bolt removed earlier and tighten it with a Phillips screwdriver. Tighten the bolt on the other side of the clamp. The cell housing has two electrodes. Align the notch on the electrodes to the connection ridges in the cell housing electrode holes. Insert the electrodes into the respective holes. Plug in the electrodes line cords to the respective electrodes. Tighten the plug collars and electrode cell housing collars by hand. Attach the cell housing to the tank base. Use one of the sand filter interconnecting hoses and connect the cell housing inlet and the six-way valve outlet connection. Check that the L-shaped O-rings are installed in the motor outlet port and in the six-way valve inlet port. Use the other sand filter interconnecting hose and connect the six-way valve inlet connection and the pump motor outlet. Attach the hoses between the plunger valves on your pool and the ports on the filter pump. First, slide a hose onto the upper plunger valve on your left and secure it with the attached hose nut. Then to the cell housing outlet port. Tighten the hose nuts snugly. Do not over tighten. Connect the other hose to the lower plunger valve on your right and to the leaf trap inlet port. Tighten the attached hose nut. Double check that the plunger valves are closed. Loosen the air release valve on top of the leaf trap until water runs out, then retighten the valve. If necessary, follow the same procedure with the release valve at the bottom of the leaf trap. The power switch is on the digital control panel. Use this button to turn the unit on or off. The six-way valve should be closed. The pump must never be turned on when the valve is in the closed position. 
pressure buildup could lead to an explosive rupture. When turning the six-way valve to other positions, the pump must be turned off. Plug the pump into a GFCI or RCD electrical outlet. Open the plunger valves by turning the plunger valve handles counterclockwise until they stop. Remove the cap from the drain waste port at the back of the six-way valve. Attach a hose to the port. The other end of the hose should lead to a suitable drain. A separate hose is not provided for this port. You may use the hose between the outlet port on the six-way valve and the upper plunger valve on the left after closing that plunger valve. Once you've connected the hose, depress the six-way valve handle and turn it to backwash. You must depress the valve handle first in order to turn it. Backwashing is the first step in flushing dirt and air out of your system. Turn the pump on. Water will circulate the sand and out the drain waste port, pushing out any dirt or trapped air. Continue in the backwash mode until the water runs clear observed in the drain sediment window located next to the drain waste port. Turn the pump off. Turn the six-way valve to rinse. Turn the pump on and let it run for a minute. This will level out the sand after backwashing. Switch the pump off. Remove the hose from the six-way valve drain waste port and replace the cap. If you use the hose between the pool and six-way valve, replace it now and open the plunger valve. Turn the six-way valve to filter. Turn the pump on. Water should be flowing into the pool from the pool upper connector, the inlet jet. You can adjust the direction of the inlet jet by hand. If there is air in the leaf trap pre-filter, check that all connections are tight. Note the pressure level on the pressure gauge. The pressure gauge is found on the six-way valve next to the sediment window. Over time, as the filter cleans your water, dirt will accumulate in the sand and pressure will rise in the tank. Check the pressure gauge frequently. When the needle in the pressure gauge reaches the yellow zone, backwashing will be necessary. Adding salt to your pool creates an electrolyte, which generates small amounts of natural chlorine, keeping your water fresh, clean, and comfortable. Be sure to use salt that is at least 99.8% pure. Refer to the salt table in the owner's manual for the amount of salt required for your pool. You will need approximately 25 pounds of salt per 1,000 gallons of water. Turn the six-way valve to filter, then switch the pump on. You may now add salt to your pool. Pour the salt into the pool moving around the pool until the recommended amount has been added. Brush the bottom of the pool to help dissolve the salt. Do not allow salt to build up on the bottom of the pool. Do not put salt into the skimmer. This can damage or clog the filter pump. Run the filter pump for 24 hours. Ensure that the salt has dissolved completely. The salt must be completely dissolved for the saltwater system to work properly. The timer on the digital control panel will run the pump automatically for a set number of hours at the same time each day. To use the timer, you must first unlock the system. Press and hold the lock unlock button until the numbers on the screen start to flash. Then use the pump timer button to set the desired number of operation hours. Pressing the pump timer button will increase the time of operation by one hour each time you press it to a maximum of 12 hours. Check the operation timetable chart in the manual for the recommended number of hours for your pool. After setting the timer, prevent unauthorized changing of the operation cycle by using the lock button. While the number of hours on the LED is still flashing, press the lock unlock button until you hear a beep. Alternatively, after 10 seconds of idling, the system will automatically lock itself. The number on the LED will stop flashing when locked. To change the settings again, simply press and hold the lock unlock button to unlock. 
The built-in timer will now activate the sand filter pump at the same time each day for the number of hours you have set. Turn the power off to stop the timer. To operate the sand filter pump manually, press the power button to turn on the pump. Press the lock unlock button, then keep pressing the pump timer button to scroll through the settings until the LED displays FP. This indicates that the timer is off and the pump is now operating continuously. To operate the chlorinator, press the lock unlock button, then press the chlorinator timer button to set the desired operating hours from zero to 12 hours. The built-in timer will now activate your chlorinator at the same time each day for the number of hours you have set. With the desired hour value showing, press the lock unlock button to lock the keypad controls. The chlorinator indicator light is up when activated. To stop the chlorinator, press the lock unlock button to unlock the keypad controls, then press the chlorinator button and reset the hour to 00. zero. To operate the boost, press the lock unlock button to unlock the keypad, Press the boost button to set the desired operating hours. The four settings include 36, 48, 60 hours, and 00, zero off. With the desired hour value showing, press lock unlock to lock the keypad controls. When activated, the boost indicator light turns on. To cancel the boost cycle, press lock unlock button, then press the boost button and reset the hour to zero zero. To operate the electrode self-clean cycle, press lock unlock button, then press the self-clean button to select the self-clean cycle time. The three settings include six, 10 and 14 hours. With the desired hour value showing, press the lock unlock button. Before proceeding with any cleaning or maintenance to your pump, turn the pump off and disconnect the power cord. Close both plunger valves. Release pressure in the pump by opening the release valve at the bottom of the leaf trap housing. To clean the leaf trap pre-filter, unscrew the housing collar, remove the cover and O-ring, and take out the leaf trap basket. Remove any debris from the leaf basket by hand or with a garden hose. Then replace the leaf basket, cover and O-ring. And screw the housing collar back onto the trap. It should be hand tightened only. Close the release valve. Your saltwater system is a highly advanced system which breaks down salt in the water to create chlorine. The chlorine dissolves in the water and instantly destroys bacteria and algae and oxidizes other organic materials to provide a safe, clean and comfortable swimming experience. For your system to function at peak efficiency, you must maintain the proper salt level in the pool and check your water's chemistry weekly. The included test strips can test the free chlorine, pH, calcium hardness, and total alkalinity levels at the same time. We recommend that you test the water chemistry weekly and maintain the chlorine concentration at 0.5 to 3.0 ppm. The system's control unit will display an LED code and a buzzer will sound for five minutes to alert you to problems. The system will stop working if it detects low water flow, code 90, low salt, code 91, or high salt levels, code 92. The codes will be displayed for five minutes. You may press either the timer or the unlock lock button at any time to see the last LED code. Before proceeding with any cleaning or maintenance, make sure your saltwater system and filter pump are off and the power cords are disconnected. 
Close the plunger valves or replace the inlet jet and strainer with the black hat-shaped plugs to prevent water from spilling out of the pool. Your saltwater system requires little maintenance due to the self-cleaning cycles you programmed into the control unit. However, we recommend that you visually inspect the primary and secondary electrodes monthly. Clean the electrodes if they accumulate calcium or other mineral substances. Refer to the owner's manual for complete maintenance instructions. With proper care and maintenance, your Intex sand filter pump and salt water system combo will give you years of clean, fresh water.